fishy there, fishy, fishy, fishy. Hello and welcome to the Slippy Limpets video. Obviously, we're down on the beach today and we are targeting. Car conditions are pretty much spot on. I mean, in an ideal world, I would have the tide a little later so I can fish more of the ebb, but I don't. So, um, got here just in daylight. Low tide is at about half seven. So the plan is to fish a few hours down, well, to the low and then maybe three or four back up. Uh, conditions wise, as you can see, there's a good little sea running. It's not massive, so that's all right. Uh, lots of good color in the water as well. So uh, fingers crossed, we might have a better session this week. So we've got a full squid on and uh, stuff that we've caught. It's fast becoming my uh, go-to bait when I can't get any fresh bait. Um, loads of scent and the fish seem to like it quite a bit, so I'm uh, happy to keep doing it because it's it's readily available. As usual, I've got a 6-0 panel pattern oster uh, with a 3-0 circle hook as the panel. Yeah, fish time. These bloody tip lights, really bright, great for the video. But this is a brand new one and it started flickering like Terminator's eye. So weather wise, it's really mild. I mean, it was 14 degrees when I got out of the car, which I mean, it's the 21st of October. So it's really, really mild. Um, but we've got a stiff uh, 27 mile an hour southeasterly breeze and forecast of rain. I was going to fish with two rods tonight, but with the uh, tough conditions, tough-ish conditions, so uh, I'm not going to bother, I'll just fish with the one. The rain is meant to last for a couple of hours, so I'll do my best to film during that. Um, I don't know what the audio will be like or anything, so uh, just give it a try. <laughs> Tip bite's gone again. This bait's had about 25 minutes in the water. It's uh, five to seven slack waters in 35 minutes, so and it's just about to start raining. So I think I'm going to wind this in and um, stick a fresh bait on and get it out so it's ready for uh, from the very bottom of the tide, and then I'll put a fresh bait on once it's slack water. I might stick a bigger lead on. Hmm, it feels like rocks. Stick a rotten bottom on as well in that case. <laughs> Good job I brought that in because uh, that whole squid is completely stripped. Yeah, let's stick that rotten bottom on. And a seven ounce lead. So I've just got a loop of 25 pound um, I think it's Berkeley XPS, just mono basically. I've tied it together with a figure of eight as in the middle there, and that's a weak point. So it's probably about 15 pound break and strain or so. So I'm just gonna lock foot that onto the bottom of my uh, splash down. Come on, off the back of there. Like that. And then I'll put my rotten bottom link on this side. Now it's quite important with these splashdowns because the line can just come straight off, but that actually stops the line from coming off like that. And I just lock foot that on. I'll we'll chuck that away. That keeps the tension on my line. holes in the squid. I'll do that just so when I'm stuffing it with the cart it doesn't fill up with air and squidge back out.
Should have let in like that. Bait in tool. Start at the entrance to the carcass of the uh, squid and that stops the cart from coming out when I whip it on. Get my panel hook. Probably don't need it with such a small squid but it's on there so I'm going to use it. Snick that through the tail. Might as well stick the head on there. There we go. Let's get it back out. Second bait in the water. Wind's really picking up now. But uh, the seven ounce ma lead made a big difference to us because I'm terrible at casting, so it helped uh, load the rod up, but it felt like it went much further. Plus it's dark, so I couldn't see where it had gone. And it's getting far less movement than it was before. So this is perfect, perfect moment. Next half hour, I think, we'll uh, hopefully get a fish or at least a bite. fish out there and I'm in the rocks again which is great plenty of structure around for the, uh, the fish to, to feed in hang around in yes what a bite well that was a cod knock Just a little one, but it's what we're after. Oh, slight line bite. That was mint. It didn't even didn't even register as a bite. Just released. I just wound into it. Right from the surface. Felt up quite a bit of weight. Well, for this season so far. First one of the night, small one, about 40 centimetres. Um, a lot of weed on my line, which is why I thought it was bigger. But uh, happy days. Yes. Well, I'm really glad I put that seven ounce lead on. Well, the amount of weed in the water will be way down the beach, I think, by now. For those who don't know, I get asked a, a little bit on the on last year's videos. Cart is um, 
the red meat out of a female edible crab. Um, these are cart wings which have been heavily salted to help hold the meat together and then frozen down. Um, and it is a very, very, very good bait up here. It can almost be a currency and a bait sometimes when it's on, it's really on. There we go. <laughs> it's a bit bulbous there, like, never mind. Get this weed off because it just jams up your eyes. Oh, yeah. That's really weeding up. Oh, that's not a good sign. Oh no. Oh, it was going so well as well. We just got the first fish. The state of this. Oh. It was literally in the water for about two minutes. Not wasting me time. trying to get all that crap off. So what I've done is I've just um, stuck a frozen black onto the squid. Didn't want to use any decent bait just to see, because if that happens again, then it's time to move on, pack up and move on. Fingers crossed just passing through and raise my rod up as high as I can to keep the line out of the water but it's got a canny bend in it already <laughs> it's only been in you've just seen us put it down whoa I think that's weed Felt a bit fishy, but it's not. Oh, I can feel it just gaining weight all the time. Oh. The irritating thing is my rig is just uh, bait pretty clear. <laughs> just all of that on top of it. Oh my god, it is lifting. Can't even walk in it. I was chatting to a couple of lads, just been walking up and down the beach to see if the weed was as bad everywhere and they brought in the line twice and had an out. I checked the water and it looked great. I've just moved next to them because they invited us. Uh, Robson is just rocking up. And it's absolutely filled with weed now. I'm just going to whack that bait out. It's been like half an hour since I've had a bait in the water. There's kelp fronds and everything hanging out the water. There they are, there. <laughs> so tonight's turning into a bit of a nightmare. Got that fish, oh great, we're on. And then the weed was instant, massive piles of it. 
and uh, when I've come back to my camera after having a chat with these two fellas, turns out the receiver for me wireless microphone's packed in, brand new. Hopefully we can get a fish, else uh, I'm going to be going home in a, in a little bit of a grumpy mood. <laughs> That's I ridiculous. Might just be down the night, but... <laughs> <laughs> I've only been out with it twice. Oh, well, good way to do it. Oh. Nah. Damn it. Nah. Nah. I don't know how I missed that. They're here. We get in. No weed either. Right then, game on. So, squid were caught again. And stick a frozen black on it as well. Lovely. Oh, I'm gonna get you, fish. Well, the wind really took that. It's turned into a proper winter's night. I like it. Had some good hits. I'm not getting weeded too much so far. So, uh, yes. Still got a good few hours of fishing left as well. Second. Just a wee one. I'm gonna set the scales alight, but it was uh, in the water for seconds. Four feet in the water, two fish. And it is nine o'clock. Started at what, six o'clock or something? The weed when I got here was just a nightmare, but we're fishing. Oh, the weed's just hit me line. Hopefully the fish is still biting though. Oh, oh no. Just going straight back out that one. Now oh, this one. Been in the water for about four minutes. Gone the other way, hopefully. That means the, uh, I don't know, there was less weed that way like before and I, that's where I caught the fish from. So give it a go. It means the line is slightly crossed into the waves, but we'll soon find out in a minute or two. Yeah, kind of hold bottom now. Oh, I can feel it. Oh, what the? Imagine this is what 
pulling a skate in his leg, apart from he doesn't fight back. Oh, come on, waves help us. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, definitely going to need to cut this off. Right, run the move. I'm not packing up. It's apparently, well, I've had a walk down the beach. I've just spoken to two lads who've just come back up the beach to try here. And it's, uh, it's pretty clear down there, so let's give it a shot. It's too early to go home. Friday night, or else would I do? The box was lovely and clean, but I've just spilled. Squid juice all over it. I'm not going to bother with a rotten bottom now. Just keep losing leads. No, that's the idea, but don't need to lose the lead when it's clean, cleanish ground. Come on, please be clear. The problem with being down this end is that it's a lot shallower for ages, so there's going to be a lot more water rushing over my line compared to up the other end where it's nice and uh, deep because of the sandbar. <laughs> oh, the repair of my waders has just failed. Oh. Get the wet foot. Oh, it seems like I'm weeded up here as well. Yeah, look at that rod bouncing. Well, the water looked a lot cleaner, <laughs> but it's obviously not. I'm going to give it five minutes, see what happens. Plastic and all sorts. Well, I think that's it. I'm going to call it a night. I've had a couple of fish. Missed a really, really good bite. Uh, broken my microphone. And I got a leak of my waders, so... Yeah, let's call it. 20 to 10. Be home by 11 means I can have a beer and watch some YouTube. Um, it's been a tough night, I'm not going to lie. Conditions are amazing, but uh, yeah, just, it's just really, really hard going. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I've enjoyed myself. It's just a shame that uh, we couldn't make the best of the conditions, but please leave a comment and share amongst your mates. That would be uh, fantastic. And if you haven't already, subscribe. That would be also that would also be awesome. And um, until the next one, as always, tight line.